There is an effort to bring more funding to Iowa's fight against the opioid epidemic. Congressman Dave Loebsack says he is trying to get $4 million more into the budget to do that. Loebsack says he agrees with the president on some ideas to combat the crisis, but he does draw a line. The Democrats sat down with local force Tahir Rahman to discuss the efforts in the final installment of tonight's special report. Congressman Dave Loebsack says he'd like to work with the Trump administration to get more money to the right places when it comes to fighting the opioid crisis. And right now, Loebsack has a bill in Congress to do just that. The states are where most of this action has got to take place. The states have a handle or, or getting a handle on the, on the crisis. You know, we've got to bring together public health officials, MDs, pharmacists, all those police officers, all those folks who are on the front line of this crisis, get a better handle on how this is happening and why it's happening. What my bill does is essentially it allocates about four and a half billion dollars more a year. Now the administration said they want to put more resources in too. I'd like to work with them so that we can get the resources to the right places. How much do you think that quote unquote throwing money at the problem will help. Essentially you would need a guideline as well. Right? right. And the guidelines are going to be those folks at the local level. There will be a lot of ways that we can try to resolve the issues. I'm going to leave that up to the professionals. Members of Congress are not professionals in this field. There are some other ideas on the table that the president has set forth. One of the most controversial in that being imposing the death penalty and harsher penalties for certain types of drug dealers. Are you on board with that idea? No, I'm not in favor of the death penalty, uh, just as a matter of principle. But at the same time, uh, if we impose harsher penalties on pushers, I'm all for that. I don't have a problem with that. I think that's where a lot of the problem rests, to be quite honest. Uh, but we also have to hold others in the process more accountable, drug companies, you know, those who are there, you know, and, and sometimes uh, write prescriptions for you know, more than one month. Ultimately, a person who is overdosing or is addicted to opioids will have to make that decision him or herself. It's a courageous decision to make, but we have to have all those community supports out there ready in that instance. Thanks again for your time. All right, look forward to another time. Thank you.